I'm here down here over here on uh, Paul Mac Boulevard uh, showing you what it looks like down below where Scrob Town used to be which is now a ghost town might as well say it's how a couple garages and there's uh, some places where people store their stuff but this road right here that you see below me it's uh, It's Myrtle Street slash uh, Elm Street at one time. There also used to be a softball field in this area. And this is, all, last time I know it was owned by the um, uh, International Paper at one time. Um, but now I think it's owned by uh, First Quality. But if I can tell you a little bit of history here. Before, after the canal was, uh, was built and tore down, which the canal was built back in the 1800s and it was tore down and probably around a little bit after the 1936 flood and they really redone all, uh, all of that. Uh, but Scrob Town was between 1936 and 1973. You probably could tell what made Scrob Town go away and that was uh, the flood 72 flood and the and Paul Mack Boulevard too helped out helped it out too it even destroyed some some more of the canal area where they used to be at um, I'm just uh, I know this was built in 1972 and it was cold and damp when it was built Named after Paul Mack, a former former per, uh, city city person. Um, uh, there is a small park on the other side of the other side of that road there. I'll be showing you showing where that small park used to be. It used to be used to have other things there, uh, but I'm um, just showing you a little a little bit up here in Paul Mack Boulevard. I'm gonna. Go out or go over to Castania, come back and get the other side. So, um, I'll be right back. And I'm on the other side now. I turn it go back. I had to go over to Castania, come back. Um, Paul Mack Boulevard here. This is the uh, Lucky Seven truck stop. This area was still part of uh, Scrob Town. It went. Clear from uh, Hannah Street, clear up, clear up to the road, went past uh, Scrob Town and went up clear up to um, Peel Avenue and uh, Mill Hall. So one road did it. I'll be going on that soon. But I'm just showing you this is the businesses that's in the area where Scrob Town used to be. And there did used to be all kinds of houses here back, back between 36 and 72. As you know, the 72 flood got rid of most of them but the lucky seven meats are gone uh, they ripped that down in 2019 2020 and they built this lucky seven truck stop for the truckers and ca even cars can get gas there too so you can get, go in there's uh i'll be showing you a little bit more of this later in this video but all right uh i'm gonna go show you where where one of the streets is I'll be right, right back. This is Pine Street here. This is not on the. This is the beginning of where Pine Street is. I think it used to go straight through up through that house. Pine Creek, Pine Street uh, used to go over there to Scrob Town, and that's where my. I'm gonna tell you when my uh, grandfather and grandmother used to live on Pine Street. I think maybe my dad lived on there at that time. Not sure about that part, but. I know my Graham and Pap did. That's why they had to move. Seventy-three. All right. Uh, I'm here at Pine Street, which is the last part of Pine Street. Over there is the part of Pine Street that uh, I didn't show you earlier. I just got off of that one road where Pine Street would have went. It is blocked off in between the tracks. 
But this is Pine Street right here. It, it, it would have come across and do a cur curve and go Pine Street and out that way. It's blocked off back there by we woods and stuff. I don't think it goes any further too far back. So, but I'm, I'm just wanted to show you. And I'm over here at Lucky 7 Truck Stop. You can see it's up and running. And they have Sunoco right now. I mean, and they're way back further over there. They have ni a nice uh, fast food over there. Price is up in the pricey range, but it's not it's not that bad. All right. Uh, well, I, uh, yeah, this is where Lucky Seven was. Um, over there used to be what well, that gray building used to be. Uh, Jalots, uh, carburetor and trans. Uh, carburetor and alternator all right uh, just right here I'm showing you this because this is where the truckers need to go back to uh, right there right on it right, right here at the tracks area this is where they go the first quality at you see the signs of shipping and receiving you get off the get off the Paul Mack Boulevard not Mill Hall Paul Mack Boulevard if you're a trucker all right I'll get you in a few, few minutes. See some of the dike levee here in Cassina Township, part of part of Scrob Town. That would have been Scrob Town at the time. It took out some of the uh, uh, yeah, some of some of the area where where that was, and and also they they're putting a new ball field in here, and that that used to be uh, probably houses in there too uh, back in that time. And over here used to be that blue bridge in Cassania going across there. Right over there. So, oops, sorry about taking a turn. I'm sorry about my windshield not being cleaned. Okay, this park is closed. But this is on the other side uh, of, the, of Paul Mack Boulevard. On the, I would say, the west side of it. There used to be a small... Yeah, you probably can see the fences in a few minutes, a few seconds here, but yeah, there used to be a small uh, pony league and little league field out here, but there is also a little road right there, but there is also another area I want to show you out this way, so you can see see it's closed, and I'm not trying. I'm not trying to. No one in the film, no not, no nothing. Uh, a little little storage shed they have right out here. I'll have to turn around. Figured that there's somebody here. Alright. Right out here. There used to be a small pavilion right in this area right 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 here there used to be a small pavilion uh, there's a little area area over here which i'm gonna have to shut the film off in a second all right uh there's a little area where you can walk around here all right this is safe for going this way i had to talk to somebody this is a area on near the end there where you can put your boats in and you probably, if you want good fish here, it doesn't tell you you can't fish. And there you see there's a small park here to walk and sit and do whatever you want. So, well, up to a certain amount of stuff. All right. But, all right. Uh, I'm just, I want to show you something on, on the other side. I didn't get to see it, see it on the way out. But I know right where it's located, so... I'm just showing you the bald, the bald eagle creek, which at one time was uh, was called called a river by the um, by the by the Indians. All right, I'm going to switch sides on you. All right, uh, right here on on this road here, 
which I think it's, I'm, I'm not sure the name of it, but there used to be an area where I think that was pot, at one time Pine Street. Got, went right through here. And you notice the canals and stuff, is, uh, there's no, no sign of them anywhere in this area. So, probably, probably when they had the uh, scrub town here, it was a bunch of uh, houses and the canal, the, some of the canal system was still up and people probably could probably at that time swim in it. But I wouldn't. I'd have had the ball to go in the, in the Susquehanna anyway. But this is all, this is all I can show you. I'm done done filming here. I just wish people wish people would think I'm filming them. I don't like to put people in the people in my videos. If you see anybody in the videos, it's only accidental. Uh, but I'm not gonna put them in it or anything. So, all right. Um, so this is all I can do. So, guys, have a good day.